Now, it's pretty obvious that the Nazis did more wrong than good, because, you know, they were Nazis. With that being said, the Nazi party was one of the most powerful political parties in the world at one point, led by a man who is considered by many to be the literal definition of evil, Adolf Hitler. During Hitler's reign of power, he would put money into a lot of things, mostly weapons his militia would use in battle, but also an array of other inventions that were deemed beneficial to Germany. Some of these weapons and products went on to be used on a consistent basis, and some of them found their way to other countries sometimes turning into inventions that were utilized by most of the world. For that reason, I've decided to compile a list of just that. In order to be applicable for this list, the invention must be created in Germany during the Third Reich. So if some of them aren't directly made by Nazis, you can almost guarantee that they have connections to either Adolf Hitler or the Nazi party in general. But without further ado, sit back, relax, grab a can of Fanta, and join me for 10 inventions you didn't know were made by Nazis. Number one is Fanta Orange. Hope he didn't actually grab that can of Fanta, because it was made by freaking Nazis, man, come on. Well, it wasn't exactly made by Nazis, but they had a pretty big part to play. During World War II, there was a pretty serious trade embargo, which meant that there was restrictions as to what came in and what went out of the country. One thing the country had difficulty getting their hands on was Coca-Cola syrup, meaning distribution of the drink was minimal. Because of this, a substitute was created using the resources that Germany had. The final product was Fanta, a drink that would go on to be one of the most popular soft drinks in Europe and various parts of the world. It was created by Max Keith, the head of Coca-Cola Germany, which meant Coca-Cola did eventually receive the profits from the drink and received the trademark and rights of the product. However, they discontinued it, possibly because it was only really popular in Germany and possibly because the only reason it was ever invented in the first place was a trade embargo sparked by Adolf Hitler. They did eventually bring it back into circulation in 1955 and spread it into various parts of Europe where it found immense success. Today, it has over 100 flavors worldwide. Number two is the jerry can. A jerry can is a container for fuel that was made in Germany sometime in the mid 30s. It was originally made for the German militia because earlier systems for carrying fuel were much more awkward, with most of them requiring tools and funnels to even be used properly. The jerry can was a much simpler system and could carry up to 20 liters of fuel. It gave the German army a good advantage in World War II, but did not remain exclusive for too long, as other countries quickly caught wind of what systems they were using to carry fuel. Because of this, many other countries developed their own versions of the jerry can, and it became a commonly used invention in war. Number three is the Land Cruiser 1000. The Land Cruiser 1000 was a design for a mega tank that was proposed in 1942. It was intended to be the biggest tank ever created and would have been five times bigger than a regular tank and would have needed a crew of 20 people to even operate it. The design was accepted and actually went into production but was cancelled in the early months of 1943 due to the fact that it was an extremely expensive and difficult weapon to make. However, the design that was made for it became an important one as many tanks that were made after 1943 took notes from this design. Meaning while the actual Land Cruiser 1000 wasn't made, quite a few tanks and bits of weaponry did spawn from its conception. Number 4 is the Blow Up Sex Doll. Wait, what? Okay, so this was actually deemed a hoax in the 2000s because of lack of evidence. However, many people believe it to be true, so let's have a quick gander. During World War II, the spreading of sexually transmitted diseases were on a massive rise, with syphilis being the main disease. This was due to many German soldiers interacting with prostitutes in their free time while they were in Paris. Because of this, a rumor spawned that Hitler had funded a project that attempted to create a blow-up sex doll. It was apparently created so that they could be given to soldiers whilst they were fighting and ultimately reduce the risk of STDs. While that is bizarre, it's actually kind of logical and this is why many people believed it to be true. The project was said to be cancelled and was later deemed a hoax because the two main photographs that were used as evidence turned out to be fake. However, it is possible that some kind of project like this occurred but just went unnoticed. If this is the case, then Adolf Hitler of all people is possibly to thank for the creation or at least the development of the blow up sex doll. Number 5 is the Z4 computer. During World War II, Adolf Hitler put a lot of funds into technology. He most likely did this so that Germany would go on to be the superior country when it came to technological advances. While a lot of these projects went bust, 
a series of computers did go on to make a significant impact, and that was the Z series, designed by Conrad Zeus. While the first creation was very much so a beta that wasn't very functional, that was only the beginning. Zeus went on to design and create the Z4, the world's first commercial digital computer. At first, it was relatively exclusive to Germany, but did eventually find its way to other countries. It became the most used computer in Europe and remained that way until the early 60s. It was a very important invention that went on to be essential for the development of technology. Number six is the Volksempfänger. The Volksempfänger was a range of radio receivers that was designed in 1933. The idea behind it was to make it as cheap and accessible as possible so that most of the German public could get their hands on it. While this seemed like a genuine and noble reason to make it, eh, not so much, because the radio was made at the request of none other than Joseph Goebbels, the propaganda minister who was instrumental in Hitler's rise to power. They used this radio to push Hitler's agenda and it played a very important role in his popularity amongst the public. With that being said, a lot of future designs for radios took inspiration from this device, so it did end up doing some good. Number seven is 3D filming. Seeing as propaganda was one of the biggest tools used in Hitler's rise to power, it's not that surprising that he was fairly obsessed with filmmaking and how to use it for his benefit. Because of this, many developments were made in the German filmmaking industry. One development that many people thought was not originated by the Nazis was 3D filming. However, it turns out that this may not be the case. Two 3D films that were created by the Nazis in 1936 were discovered. They were fairly ahead of its time, as Hollywood hadn't began using 3D in their movies until 16 years later. While they were both essentially pieces of propaganda, they were considered to be very well made. Today, 3D is a commonly used mechanism in the filmmaking industry, and it is used in many Hollywood blockbusters. Number 8 is Volkswagen. One of the main problems in Germany in the 1930s was transport. Very few people had cars as they were inaccessible due to their cost. For this reason, Adolf Hitler got involved in the production of a cheap, accessible car. He funded the People's Car Project, which would eventually develop into Volkswagen, a car company that would go on to be the second largest automaker in the world. It turned out to be a very successful project and Germany's transport system became equal to that of America's. The current company cut their ties to all Nazi-related connections for obvious reasons, but without those fundings, it's possible that the company would never have been made. Number 9 is the V2 rocket. After the Allies attacked various parts of Germany, Adolf Hitler poured a lot more money into weaponry, prioritizing on explosives. Because of this newfound funding, the first ever long-range guided ballistic missile was made. The V-2 rocket started being used in 1944, meaning it was only used by the Nazis for around a year before the war ended. If it was created any earlier, it could have been a huge problem, as the one year it was in service, the attacks that were launched caused the death of 9,000 people. The production of the missile alone caused the death of 12,000 forced laborers. It was used in various parts of the world until 1952, but its usage declined when more advanced explosives were developed. Number 10 is Methadone. Methadone is an effective painkiller that was developed in Germany between the years of 1937 and 1939. It took its time to develop and become a useful drug as the original painkiller had many side effects. However, the drug was eventually developed and became a lot safer, meaning it was able to be approved for use in the United States in 1947. It is still used worldwide today, but is regulated due to the fact that it is easy to get addicted to. It was a very handy tool for the Nazis during World War II as the painkiller gave them an advantage in the medical department. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. I'll leave a link down below to my Twitter and my Facebook if you want to like or follow me over there to keep updated with the channel and what I'm doing. But that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed your can of Fanta. And as always, until next time. <laughs>